Catelyn is a key advisor to her son Rob Stark in his role as King in the North. She warns Rob against trusting Balon Greyjoy because of his reputation for rebellion. She unsuccessfully tries to persuade Rob to exchange the captive Jaime Lannister for his sisters Arya and Sansa. Rob tasks her with traveling to the Stormlands to seek an alliance with King Renly Baratheon. Catelyn travels to Renly's camp and finds him hosting a tournament. She watches Brienne win the event and a place on Renly's Kingsguard. Catelyn delivers Rob's message and admonishes Renly for treating the war as a game. She is welcomed into Renly's camp by his new wife Marjorie Tyrell. Peter Baelish also arrives at the camp. Catelyn confronts him for his betrayal of Ned and rejects his romantic overtures. He delivers a message from Hand of the King Tyrion Lannister. He would be willing to exchange Jaime for Catelyn's daughters. Tyrion has also sent Ned's remains as a sign of good faith. Catelyn later accompanies Renly to a parley with his brother King Stannis Baratheon but the two are unable to reach a compromise. However, she does secure an alliance between Renly and Rob. This alliance is short-lived. However, as Renly is assassinated by a shadow just after he has agreed to an alliance with Rob. This is witnessed by Catelyn and his Kingsguard Brienne is mistakenly blamed for the death and she flees the camp with Catelyn. Brienne later swears fealty to Catelyn. Renly's army splinters with the forces of House Tyrell fleeing to Highgarden and the rest of his bannermen joining Stannis. Catelyn finds Rob's army camped in the Westerlands. She interrupts him talking to Talisa Mygear and warns him that he is not free to follow his heart. Roose Bolton brings troubling news from Winterfell. Theon Greyjoy has betrayed Rob and seized the lightly defended castle. Theon has taken both Bran and Rickon hostage. Rob denies Catelyn's request to treat with Theon and says that he will execute the traitor. Roos convinces Rob to let his bastard retake Winterfell. Jaime escapes but is soon recaptured. Rob is away negotiating the surrender of the crag. Lord Rickard Karstark demands Jaime's head because he murdered his son Torrin Karstark in the escape attempt. Catelyn convinces Rickard to await Rob's return but fears that his patience will not last the night. She visits Jamie's cell and accuses him of being a man without honor. Jamie asserts that he has more honor than some. He reveals that Cersei is the only one he has slept with and reminds Catelyn how her husband cheated on her and fathered Jon Snow. Catelyn releases Jamie, planning to exchange him for her captive daughters. She sends Brienne to escort him to King's Landing. Brienne successfully smuggles him out of the camp and travels by rowboat to evade pursuit. Rob is furious that Catelyn acted behind his back and orders her kept under guard. He says that Jaime has played her for a fool and that she has weakened their position. Rob visits Catelyn in her tent to discuss his plan to break his betrothal to House Frey to marry Talisa. She reveals that Eddard did not love her when they first married and explains that they built a strong, enduring love over time. She warns against recklessly breaking his oath for passion but he says that she has no right to call anyone reckless. Going against his mother's advice, Rob marries Talisa in a secret ceremony.